Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Morrowind with a twist. The twist is my hair color. Um, my wife actually... <clears throat> sorry. My wife mentioned how she couldn't actually tell that I had dyed my hair. So I decided to go a little more drastic. Well met. I'm also a tad sick. Um, so... I can't really, like, go anywhere. There's not that much that I can do. So, I guess I'll just play some more Morrowind. Jesus, hi. Where am I at? Oh, yeah, that reminds me. You guys are such fucking dicks. You've taken a few knocks. Maybe you should get you. Oh, shut up. I'm fine. So, um, <clears throat> if you missed or skipped last episode, that's fair. Not a lot happened. I was just running around doing chores. But basically, what happened was, I was like, hey, I'm just going to go do some more busy work for the Fighters Guild like I did last time. Because I think I'm actually out of stuff to do vis-a-vis uh, -vis the Balmora Fighters Guild. Well, there I bumbled into a thing. Um, I guess Balmora right now. Do I have stuff I need to sell? I do. Yeah, right, let's head down to the general store. I love looting alchemy ingredients, even though I almost never do alchemy. Alright. So yeah, while bumbling, I discovered... Uh, something. I discovered a Daedra quest, sorry. My brain wasn't working. Malakath, god of the orcs, gave me a quest to go kill a guy. Uh, so we're probably going to go do that. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Did I get rid of that cup I had in my inventory? So Malakath has an interesting and gross uh, backstory. I think originally he was Trinimac. Um, and he was eaten and shat out by another god. True story. Let me just double check what I'm doing here. One moment. Alright, just did a little double check. We're heading to Narmok, I think. So yeah, Malakath was originally Trinimac. So recall that the Eteta, you know, the divine spirits that created the world, well, the divine spirits that were a part of the original world were split into the Aedra and Daedra. Aedra were the ones who created the world. Daedra were the ones who elected to not create the world. And so while Aedra gave up some of their power to create the world, and so have a mutual symbiosis with the world, the Daedra don't exist within it properly. Which is part of why uh, they're seen as like devils, because they don't have a real place in the world. Weird, huh? Oh yeah, that reminds me. Still gotta wait. Okay. We're running the Narmok. So 
So, Trinimac was originally a warrior elf. Um, and he was the god of the Ornismer. And the Ornismer were like... Well, they were the warrior elves. They were just the toughest kind of elf. And much like how the Chimer, the original form of the Dunmer, were golden skin like the Altmer and Aldmer. And I think the Maumer are also golden skinned. Um, I think the original form of the Orcs had metallic skin. Um, however, Boethia, Daedric Prince, uh, ate and digested Trinimac. And then shit Trinimac out. That's legitimately a real piece of the lore. And either that caused, um, again, much like with a Dunmer, either it was a instantaneous change and like all Chimer just became Dunmer or certain ones of them coated themselves in the relevant material. So some people believe that the Chimer coated themselves in the ash of Morrowind or the ash of Nerevar's body and in doing so became the Dunmer. And in the same way, Caldera, all right. Some people think that uh, the Ornismer coated themselves in the shit that was Malakath, or the shit that was Trinimac, and made him into Malakath and made them into the Orcs. So yeah, very interesting piece of lore, but honestly, it makes sense. Recall that, um, it makes mythological sense, at least. Recall that in the real world, um, Greco-Roman mythology, Hades is the firstborn child of Cronus, and so should technically be the strongest. But because he was firstborn, he was eaten first, and so was digested the longest. And so, um... When Kronos vomited him up, he had been digested for the longest, and so his spirit was, like, weak. And that's why he... Uh, got the Underworld to look after. See, and then that's why the Orcs are this, like... I mean, this is the racist rhetoric that other elves use, but that's why the Orcs are malformed and, you know, fucked up and... Bad, basically. And granted, they don't really look like... Oh, it's another naked Nord. Hmm. I have too much to do. Am I being hunted by something here? But yeah, orcs are properly known as Ornismer, which means that they are elves. They are mer. This is a minor detail for the Elder Scrolls, but elf is only ever used by men, by humans, by Red Guards, Nords, Bretons, and Imperials. No mer actually refers to themselves as elf. They never say dark elf. They never say high elf. They always say Dudmer or Altmer. Um... And that's because elf is actually a slur. But it's just so widespread. There you go. It's so widespread that everyone uses it. Like, every human uses it. Some of them don't even know that it's supposed to be a slur. Funny story, huh? Anyway, yeah, as uh, elves go, most of them are metallic of skin and have, like, high cheekbones, thin mouths, small teeth, uh, stuff like that.
Whereas the orcs, the Ornismer, are thicker than Nords, the thickest type of human. Normally, you would expect that an elf would be thinner than a human. But in actuality, the orcs are thicker than the thickest humans. Um, and so the Aldmer, Altmer, rather, don't actually want to include orcs as elves. The orcs don't really care. Orcs are orcs. They, they do their own thing. Um, I'm actually wearing some orcish armor. And something that I kind of like is that orcs actually still have metallic skin, technically. They're like dun, dark gray, and like greenish skin matches the color scheme of Orichalcum. I mentioned this before, Orichalcum is just a generic word that means magic metal. Um, it comes from, I think, Greek mythology, specifically about Atlantis. Uh, where it refers to the stuff that they used. The Chalcum, I think. I think the Chalcum is the part of it that's relevant. Chalcum just means copper, and you can see that um, it's similar to the word cuprum. And cuprum is why copper is written CU on the periodic table of elements. As opposed to CO, which it actually begins with in English. And part of that is because CO is already taken by cobalt, I believe. But yeah, chalcum is just copper. Um, and oros, I believe, means mountain copper. Um, so it was just like special brass or bronze or copper. Which means that it should be... Level 14. Today you wake up full of energy and ideas. You know somehow overnight everything has changed. What a difference a day makes. Four strength. I'm gonna get more speed and some agility. All right. So yeah, I skipped one leg of this quest because I didn't want to do it because I hate wandering around Vivek not wearing, not knowing where I'm supposed to be. And we've done enough of that in this LP already. But what you find out in Vivek is that somebody tells you that that guy's descendant moved out here, I think. And then we just got to track him down. Let's make a good save here. Orn Bearclaw. Uh, he arrived here a day ago with Servant Selpertus. He's gone south of town. Thank you. So that'd be this way. Cool. So yeah, the orcs actually have a unique type of metal that they use for just their armor. And most elven armors like... Um, you know, the chitin or the stuff that's called elven armor is light armor. Um, but orcish armor is heavy armor. You can also see that elven armor is gold and matches the color of Ultimer to an extent. Um, just like how orcish armor to an extent matches uh, orc skin, which I like. There are a lot of things in Elder Scrolls lore that like really tie themselves together, and that's something I really like. Like, for instance, there's an implication that Trinimac got his heart ripped out before being eaten. Um, much like how Lorcan slash Shore got his heart ripped out uh, when making the world. And then the heart of Lorcan became an important thing. Do oh, I see corpses? But yeah, basically, 
Malakath gave this helmet to a guy. He was like, hey. Get some stuff done. You're an orc. You're my boy. There you guys are. So yeah, you can see that orcish armor is kind of samurai, which is pretty cool. And then this guy's got full dwarven armor. My wonderful ancestor, father of my father's father father, began the Orin tradition. Oh, the orc? I'm sure. I don't know. All right, stranger. It's all true. I think it's easy carrying this kind of a family name. Everyone expects a lot, you know. It doesn't have its benefits. Adoration of everyone. It does have its benefits. Adoration of everyone. Imperial stipend. Why have you sought me out then? Come on the behest of Malakath. Ooh, is that a glass longsword? I want that. Oh, God. I didn't come here with a lot of stuff, did I? Oh. Let's see if we can't pick up some goodies while we're here. Yes. Can you ask your question quickly? <sighs> Specific place. Drudge Digger's Rest is the only trade house. Any time now. Where would that be, mon frere? Ooh, maybe I can steal from here. Wealth beyond measure. I don't really like stealing in this game that much because sometimes it can be a little jank. No, and likely you never will. Yeah. I don't know why, but I love doing this. There's this very, very good classic video of someone just using the bad Morrowind Guard AI against itself, and like they hide on a little on a little ledge, and the guards just repeatedly throw themselves over a cliff to try to get at him, and they fail every time. Until they all die from the fall damage. Oh, it's this little shit lean to. All right. Okay. I'm You're the traitor. What do you want? Oh, you can also train me. You're the traitor. There we go. Okay. The ice cap. That's cool. Um. Hmm. I am in need of healing potions. It's recording, right? I am. You don't have any, do you? Yes, okay. Well, how about this? Why don't we go to the old standby and go with the jink blade? I need a new one of these. This thing keeps crapping out on me. Guys, don't you realize that if you kill him, I mean, wait, if I kill him, you guys don't get paid. Man, you're a problem, huh? Hmm. 
Okay, let's try this. Oh, wait. Hmm. I'm in a little pickle here, huh? Under sun and sky. I'll make this Boy, I hope you aren't an important NPC. Is there not an escape? Yeah, right into the wall. Oh god. So yeah, if you're out of stamina and you get punched, you just go down. But I want to, I want to kill, I want to kill the sword person here. Oh God, I'm not, I'm not going to have a chance. Please stop punching me, sir. This is going really poorly. One moment, everyone. And we're back. Um, so I've just been letting this guy punch me for a while because... He doesn't do a lot of damage, but he does raise my stats, so I'm almost level 15. Potion Paralyze. Wow. Yeah, it paralyzes you. Um. Can you poison weapons in this game? I'm not sure what the purpose of that is. Great trap, guys. And if I had a healing spell, I might get somewhere. I should see if I can get one of those, actually. I know I said I wasn't going to use um, magic, but, like, this game's long. Ooh, that's... Nah, that's not that good. What about you? You got anything good? Ice and chitin. Nice. That'll be some good money, too. Those are some expensive books. Wow. What bound of... <gasps> A new Jinx Sword! Hex Charm. Shadow Form. Wow. Quite a bounty. 34 versus 52. Oof. Let me clear out some of these, huh? Got 
Got any more? I do. Another drink blade. Holy moly, look at all my money! Ring of shock balls. All right. Take a sip of grief. Wow. Grand soul gem. And some flynn. Wow. Ha ha how! I don't know if I've ever seen this place before. <laughs> I like how the crappiest stuff had the best had the... was in the most protected chest. Fifteen. The life you've been living, the punishment your body has taken, there are limits to what the body can do, and perhaps you've reached them. You've wondered what it is like to grow old? Well, now you know. Nice. Right. My grief. I'll be able to sell off some of this stuff as well whenever I get back to a, uh, a place. What do you guys got to say? Oh, you're dead. Steel claymore. Steel gauntlets. Man, these gauntlets that add strength are a real boon. Even more treasures. Wow. Heartstone. Fortify endurance. Wow. Gripes charm, mother ring. Oh, that's actually pretty useful. I don't even know what that replaced. I've got so much loot now. Ring of Wizard's Fire, Vampire's Kiss. Doe's Charm. Wow. All right, then I just need to drop this and we're good to go. Holy shit, man. So let's find... Here we go. So, what drink sword is this? This is my... This is a fresh one. This is a slightly used one. Oh, have I gotten a new drink sword recently? These all seem fresh. Right. Every time. Ooh, that's big damage. Ooh, that's big damage, though. Go. Okay. All right, there's one down. Did 
Just you and me, buddy. You've got a shield up, so it might be good to use a normal weapon. Through the power of cheating, I've done it. Silver flame axe. Blood despair. Third barrier belt. I'll save you for last, mister. Glass storm sword. Let's take a look at what I'm wearing. Orcish pauldron. Fresh orcish pauldron. Oh, those are actually pretty good. I'll keep this on. I'll throw this away and I'll put this on now, actually. Now for the big cheese. Spider bite. Dry grass. Dry shield. I've killed him. He was, as I suspected, remarkably weak for one of a distinguished bloodline. His guards were as strong as they looked. Okay, now we're heading back north. Man, I'm going to be in the money once I'm able to sell off all this stuff. I might have to do that off screen. I have so much new new toys. <laughs> yeah. Let me see if I can... Right, those are all wearing off one by one. Let me see if I can dump some of the fresh, like, freshest gear here. Because I'm... This is going to be a long walk if I have to do the whole thing on Anytime two Flynn. Just don't keep me waiting. Where did I get Skuma? I guess it must have just been in one of those chests that I wasn't paying attention to when I looted it. Yep, here it is. Now that you've gotten rid of that skooma by putting it on that table next to me. Dumbass. Everyone is stupid. Um, let's dump this book if we can. It doesn't buy books. No books at all, huh? Okay, how about Ring of Vampire's Kiss? Oh, it's only worth eight. Yeah, I guess magic items are pretty common in, um... Okay, I don't really need to fortify my willpower that much. What am I wearing? What is ring? Blood despair. Shield. Okay. Restore health. Damage attribute luck. Yeah, whatever. Fortify, endurance, not really. I don't sneak. Can I hug you up for these? These are like rare magical items. Wow. Stone cold, huh? Let me see if I can get some goodies off of you. I'll keep all the light stuff on me. What I really need to do is get rid of some of these weapons. Glass Storm Sword. Lightning. And it does amazing damage. Spider Bite. Lot of damage. Great. How about this? I don't use my bows a lot, and they're kind of crap. So this is that thing where you can sell something 
individually and even mark up the price for it piece by piece and get more out of it. But that's going to be pretty wild naming. This is an axe. I don't use axes. But let me see if I can get something good off of you for it. Bottles, huh? <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's take some throwing stars off of you. Um, that's a good netch blade. A spider bite is poisonous, and that's cool. The daunting mace is really, really cool, but it's very heavy. I don't really need all of these, so let's find the worst one. Eight ninety nine. Oh, yeah, yeah. This one's charge is terrible. Give me that back. Um, I guess give me these. How much gold do you have left? Three? Well, you've got some great items to be dealing with, sir. Oh, I'm maxed out. Cool. You have questions. So what do you want? All right. Um, now I guess we're just going to start walking. I could try to head to Aldron, actually. I'm going to do that off camera. Hey, I came back in. So we're actually in a different area. We're heading to Nisus, or Genesis, if you prefer. Right. Realize that I've actually had Sujama in my pocket the whole time, so I probably could have just drunk that instead of drinking two things whenever I was really encumbered, but whatever, we all learn. So part of the reason that I decided to do this quest instead of just ignoring it, like a lot of the other side quests, is because uh, I needed a new helmet. Um. I broke my old one, and I've, you know, found a decent replacement. But I want to have the proper amount of, like, style. And, you know, might be what I'm looking for. Malakath's helmet. I don't remember what it looks like in this game. I hope it's like a big, scary death mask, you know? That's what I want. Ah, the Western Gash. I don't think this town is a salt strider, does it? Why walk when you can ride? Oh, I shouldn't do that right now. My voice is so sore. I'm a little sick. Um, oh, they do. Good. What the hell are you doing down here? Are you the boat guy? Hineb stole my pants. He's taking a bath. And Hineb stole my pants. Maybe you can talk to him and get him back. Oh, there's the boat guy, I think. Welcome to Nisus, we're a mining village. Yeah, cool. If I can pick up some more Sujama here, actually. Or anything, Grief and Matza. Might be good to just get that done while we're here. Get the Malakath quest done. I'm biting my left, I shouldn't do that. Three gold, huh, whatever. Pants. That Swit couldn't put them on without help. Oh, a thousand gold. Well, fuck. I can... Whatever. 
<laughs> I love solving problems. The law. Something you get to break when you're rich. I didn't like him, but I didn't want him dead. Here's some hackalo. Thanks for getting my pants back. Thank you. <laughs> ah, funny. I'm a funny man who does funny crimes. Maddock Trade House. Talk to me, guys. Any skoomers in here? Do I know you? Hey. Do you want some skooma, bro? Because I want to get rid of some skooma. Actually, will you buy these books? Fuck. You don't buy potions. Bro. Ten pounds of ebony, huh? Yeah, probably stand to get rid of that, huh? Okay, so all he's got is... Just crap. He's got lockpicks. I don't really lockpick all that much. Pearls. He does buy pearls, so I can get rid of these. Quam eggs? Yeah. Salt rice? Yeah. Pods? Damn. How about this rat meat? How about ruby? I'll give you a uh, emerald. I'll give you two emeralds, in fact. And then give me these back. And these. And a pearl. Right, racer plumes are actually kind of expensive. So give me back, like, five. Cool, look at that. Yeah, I clean them out. What's this then? Art of the deal. Yes. Say your words. Yeah, the Imperial Legion has like always had. I don't want to join the Imperial Legion. Actually, I don't like that quest. The Imperial Legion has like basically always had a place for orcs in it, which is kind of nice. So one thing that's really annoying about the Imperial Legion is that you they give you a much shittier set of armor than you've probably found. Because it's, you know, it's the Imperial set. And they're like, you'd better have it on whenever you talk to us or we're not going to give you the time of day. And that's what they actually do. They don't let you do quests or talk to them unless you're wearing the set. And the set is a lot worse than, like... Like, I think it's only better than some of the mid-game armors. Or, like, even some of the early-game armors. Sacred Artifact, you say? That sounds cool. Oh, hey, are you a tradesman? You're as popular as a bowl of tar, and whose fault is that? Man, that sucks. Just because I killed one guy, huh?
Maybe you can drink a restore personality. How does that do you? Maybe I can drink something else. What, just because I murdered some prankster? What about you? He didn't even see my crime. He's cool with me. Yeah, I like that. I like your style, sir. Let's do business. Um, Did I already get rid of my one jink blade? I think I did. My arrows... Hmm. So let's compare these. This is... This does less damage, but it has a better enchantment on it. But it has a wider range, so I think I'm going to get rid of it. And then this... It's pretty solid. I don't use axes, so let's get rid of that. 10 to 26 versus 3 to 14. Okay. Cool. What else you got? Broadsword, longbow. Asking price it is. I didn't even want to sell to those guys. I hate those guys. They suck. Where am I at now? Oh, I'm at a normal weight. I guess the 30, like, I don't even think it was 30. I think one of them was 30. But, like, the hundreds of pounds of weapons I had certainly didn't help. Alright, where am I heading? Malakath's quest. Asur de Pai de Pal. Which is up here somewhere. Sancta Shrine, I think. West of the Sancta Shrine. Dagon fell. Okay, cool. I can walk that from here. And in fact, I will, but I'll pause it. Hey, well, running north, uh, I hit the next level, so that's cool. So I'm going to take that. You've been trying too hard, thinking too much. Relax. Trust your instincts and just be yourself. Do the little things, and the big things take care of themselves. I don't really need Magicka, man. I'll work on those. I think I've put a point in strength at least every time. So yeah, we're getting near to uh, the zone. And I'm level 16 now, so that's cool. Uh, I cracked open a few more tombs. I've started to adventure into those a little bit more. Because now I'm starting to get a very powerful character. I'm, I think I'm very much in the middle of the game. Where, like, all the level 1, like, random enemies, like, all the Nyx Hounds and, like, little blighted rats and things, can't even begin to comprehend opposing a threat to me. And I can defeat almost everything else. And then there are very few things above them that give them that give me pause. I actually just fought an Ogrim, which is a form of Daedra. I was reading a thread about how much more simplified Skyrim is compared to this game. But really, this game is simplified from Daggerfall. But Daggerfall, like... Some people are like, it's really the best role-playing game ever. But it is impenetrable. Like, 
not even just from a modern standpoint, is Daggerfall impenetrable. Daggerfall was weird and hard to get into even at the time, because it was still buggy and glitchy. It came out, like... I think it came out the same year as Doom 2, and, like... Yes, Daggerfall lets you be a part of a huge world. But, like, it's not, like, quick. May the wind be it's... It's such an unusual game, you know? You I don't know why I'm here, dude. Trade house. Can you trade me for... Let's go to hell. Don't press your luck. You're on your honor. Right, right. Let me, uh... Can I put it on your shelf over here, sir? Where is it? Is it magic? I, I laid it on the floor, is that okay? Still got the skoom as well. Got two of it, I think. I think you can even, like, just drink it all as well. Ooh, expensive. But we're also starting to get to the point where I have so much money. Oh wow, you've got some cash getting to be getting on with, huh? Yeah, look at that. Um, take that, take that. I've got an empty mother's ring, I think. These things refill? I so rarely use the spells in here. Alright. This is a pretty crappy... That might be Fargoth's ring, actually. I don't really intend to use this. Nah. Nah. Nope. You know what stats I care about? Reducing the enemy's health to zero. That's what I want to do. I'm just here to kill people. I don't really use that. Ooh, you, you buy and sell potions as well. Because I've got some potions I'm never going to use. I don't think I'll need that. I'll need that. Ooh, that's expensive. Take that off my hands, will you? Um, I've got other things for that. Wow. Good money in this, huh? Slow falling. Frost resistance. Cure disease, whatever. Swift swim. I'll keep the slow fall on me for now. How many of these? How many of uh, my gems can you take off of me, my friend? Give me one of those back. Much better. I'll keep the pearl. Bargaining chips, huh? It's a little expensive for you. I'll take this back. And call it. Look at that. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting to the point where like every time I go to a trader, I have nothing but goodies for them. I almost never need to buy anything. Because, like, even in this game where I need to buy new equipment, I don't really need to buy new equipment that frequently. Because I can fix a lot of my own stuff. 
What do you, what do you mean? What battle? I'm in a town. Hello? Let me nip inside for a sec. Yeah, I can repair my own gear pretty well. But I can also often, like, loot better gear off of things that I kill. I won't repair the helmet in case I like the one that Malakath gives me better. I mean, I could only imagine that the helmet given to me by a deity would be better than, you know, a bus boy's helmet that I picked up off a of, off the street. There we go. You guys like clanging? I don't have... <laughs> the second I stop clicking and use my auto clicker is the second that I <laughs> run out of those. Whatever. So I recently went on uh, a small vacation. I went back to my um, my dad's house because um, he still lives there. My friends still live there. Uh, I had a fantastic time. We went to uh, all the places that I can't go anymore because I moved to a different part of the state. But like, I went to my old favorite bookstore and my comic shop and the local GameStop because I like the guys that work there and it feels more like a video game store than a modern like hot topic. I don't know if I've talked about this, but somebody please from hot topic, get back to me. There should be a warm topic of things that like aren't cool, like as cool anymore, but people will still buy, you know? Like, shit from, like, the 2000s. Because it's all, like, the 10s in current Hot Topic. Partially because, you know, they just happened and the 20s haven't had enough of enough time to develop their own identity. Because, like, come on, we're a year in. We're one whole year in. Yeah, there should be a warm topic of, of, like, clothes in larger sizes, because also Hot Topic is primarily meant for children and teenagers. And, like, I'm an adult. I'm still relatively punk. I mean, look at my hair. Part of that's because I'm queer, and uh, whenever queer people get bored, they dye their hair. Um, it's also Pride Month. Enjoy it and get ready for Gay Wrath Month. <laughs> Someone was like, gay pride? Pride's a sin. And it's like, no, have pride all year round. It's like, no, gay sloth all year round. That's what I'm up to. Gay sloth. I hate these things. I hate how weird and like humany their faces are too. Oh my god, there's so many fish. <laughs> I 
You know what fish can't do? Walk. Check this out. Must suck to not be amphibious, you fucking bitch. Like, these fish are just assholes, you know? Oh yeah, about all these throwing stars, because I think they're a little easier to use than a bow. I don't really know if that's the case. Um, I've actually been training to use a bow. But anyway, so I went back in town. It was great to see my friends again, by the way. They're still the same. We've all gotten a little fatter and hairier over COVID, though, so... There's that. Is this the pillow ship? Because this is obviously like a crashed ship. One that could potentially be full of goodies. Too complex, you say? Put a journeyman's on there. Oops. Journeyman's on there. Damn. Oh, hi. Anyway, um, while there, I bought the, uh, Zelda comic. Um, the comic for A Link to the Past. Which is not a manga, even though it has a Japanese author. It was released, um in America through Nintendo Power and it's meant to be read left to right. Wait, I didn't need to take all of those pants. How did the slaughterfish get in here? Great, a rusty axe and nothing. And a bone mold queer ass. Armor I outgrew hours ago. Another thing I actually picked up while I was there. Hello. It's one of these rare beetles. Shulk. Oh, like the corner club. The black shulk corner club. Uh, it's better to head north this way, I think. And swim around. So I actually could swim to here, which is Solstheim. It's a little better to take a boat, but that could cost money. And Lord knows I'm hard up for septums. So I got one of those crappy, like, cheap VR things. Um, the ones that are just, like, you put your phone in it, and then if you watch, like, a video with double view... Uh, it kind of feels like you're there. I really want to play Morrowind in VR. I would need a, probably an actual proper headset. And somebody who's not me to figure out how to get Morrowind to run in VR. Because I am pretty inept when it comes to running computers. I have only managed to ever successfully download and play a mod for Doom. And by a mod I of course mean like... The... Other like maps that people have made and occasionally like different weapon map different weapon things. I did play the um 
Castlevania full conversion. Um, it's probably a well-known fact that I love Castlevania by now, based on the fact that I have like a whole playlist of games that are like Castlevania, and I played the original Castlevania and promised that I would play more, and have. But yeah, I'm pretty bad when it comes to mods. To be perfectly frank, actually, one of the reasons that I don't have the always accurate attack uh, mod installed is because I can't, I'm not very good with mods. So even though I am running this on open Morrowind, I am just so mod inept. These guys might kill me. Luckily, I've got healing spells. Right, I'm gonna hit you with my short blade now. There you guys go. Love how common Deja Hearts are in this game. They have such a human scream, you know? I feel like part of the commonness of Daedra Hard is that Morrowind just has way more Daedras than later games. And I feel like part of it is... Is that supposed to look like that? I don't think it is. Maybe this side is, but definitely not the other side. Oh yeah, I want to talk about this as well. Um, some of you might know that I have a grudge against the jackass who directed Heavy Rain, Indigo Prophecy, uh, Detroit Become Human, and Beyond Two Souls, one David Cage. Uh, and recently, perhaps in honor of Pride Month, uh, he, he fucking did an interview wherein he described his like prime audience and said what he thinks of gay people playing his game. And he said, and I quote, I don't make game for I don't make games for fags. I'm blown away by how David Cage still has fans. Like he is halfway decent at tricking people into thinking that he has talent. But there are so many things that you just see in his games and like applying even an ounce of logic causes them to fall apart. Ooh, it's the second of Frostfall. And he's just such a miserable, toxic person. Like, someone pointed out how he has almost no repeat talent. Which is a statement that means nobody comes back. Um, he worked with Elliot Page and... Uh, what's his name? The Green Goblin? Willem Dafoe. Um, he worked with Elliot Page and Willem Dafoe for Beyond Two Souls, and there's a picture of them just frowning, just, like, miserable on stage with with Cage. And he's just all smiles, you know? And, like, all the actors, like, almost none of them want to come back because he's a shit person. All right, I think I... I think I killed everyone here. All right, I'm heading to Sanctus. You certainly were really determined to kill me. I would think that a normal animal would, like, get distracted and run away. Anyway, yeah, he doesn't make games for fags, so I shouldn't play him, I guess. There, there are some more people that he should include in there, like any racial minority, um, anyone who is or has been homeless. Um, basically, anyone who's not straight, white, French, and fat. 
That's who he makes games for. Himself, really. But yeah. One day I will LP a David Cage game. Primarily because I want to... I want to bitch about him. And I want to have an LP ready. So I, I can talk about, like... Ooh, Poil. I think I've gotten... I think I've gotten these, actually, and I... Died and had to reload, actually. <laughs> It is kind of nice how Racer Plumes sell for a decent amount. But yeah, I, I want to see David Cage's career disintegrate. Like, I don't want him to... I, I want him to be known for tricking people into thinking he has talent and then destroying his own career. That's what I, that's what I want David Cage to be famous for. Detroit Become Human is possibly his most competent game. And part of that is because other people took it away from him. Like, all the things about Connor and Hank that you love are because the actors ad-lib and are better writers than the guy who was supposed to write it. Oh, Jesus. Let me get away here, ma'am. Oh, and the Daedra, you see. How close am I? I was close. Oh yeah, earlier I was... Anyway, yeah, I want to see David Cage, like, get dragged through the mud. Because he deserves it more than anyone. Maybe not more than anyone. Like, anyone, but like... He's up there. Oh, good. A normal elf. I'm sure you'll pose a challenge to me after the demons I've been running away from. Like, let's be clear here, mon frere. I can only... I'm only avoiding the demons because... There's more of them than there are of me. Just chink blade. This guy's actually pretty competent. Yeah, earlier I was complaining about how impenetrable Daggerfall is and how the Elder Scrolls have been getting, like, more and more, like, not dumbed down, but simplified. Because they have. They've been getting a lot more simplified. What is that chest, man? That looks cool. Dragon Scale Queer Ass. Neat. How long are you going to keep zapping, man? I've got a lot of these. I can keep throwing them. <laughs> One moment, everyone. Alright, I finished clearing out enough of this dungeon to get to work. I also picked up too much stuff. 
All right. You guys, at this point, are not even actual threats. You're more like a stage hazard, you know? And luckily for the Daedra, everything gangs up on me. I found this big fancy claymore, so I'm gonna swing it at him, see what I can get done here. I think I picked up a curse or something in there, because I, I feel like I have less strength than I did before. Circle strafe him. Oh yeah, my helmet finally broke as well. There you go, you son of a bitch. And a Golden Saint. I believe you may recognize those from uh, the Oblivion DLC. On my way to Sanctus. Gotta have myself time. It does make sense that you would want to tag certain skills and those will be your... And those will be your skills, but like, it kind of annoys me that I can't level up skills that I'm not using as easily. Um, which was the reason I brought up how Minecraft... Minecraft, Jesus. How Skyrim is simplified. Hey, it's this thing that I dropped. I've never seen this thing before. <laughs> because yes, Skyrim is simplified compared to Daggerfall. But in Daggerfall, you need to like pick one thing and build around it, and to a lesser extent in this game as well. You need to like set up and build for something. Whereas in Skyrim, you have much more of an ability to do things and then do them. Does that do what I want? No, it doesn't. What does Sheen do then? Flint, that'll that'll help. A winged twilight. I'm gonna fall on your head and kill you now, sir, if that's alright. Because yes, Skyrim is simplified and the ability to use things in Skyrim is very easy and you know simple. But that allows the player to do a lot more things with it, because it's simple. Here we go. Now we just gotta find Malakath. So I want to mention, um, the Daedra Lords are one of the only things that are guaranteed to be voice acted in this game. As you've noticed, this game is not fully voice acted like its compatriots are. Um, but the Daedra Lords still have voices because they, of course they do. All right, I need a new helmet, Malakath.
Fortify, Agility, and Endurance. It looks kind of stupid. It's not really me, man. I guess I'll keep it. I might put it back at my base somewhere. Hmm. And yeah, well, we did a danger quest. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. I've been Alfred. This has been Morrowind. And this was more of a filler episode because I'm sick and I have to get back into recording like a human. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for coming by. And uh, have a good day.